When examining the toes, an AP or AP axial projection may be necessary. Because of the natural curve of the toes, the interphalangeal joint spaces are not best shown with an AP projection. When demonstration of these joints is not critical, an AP projection with a perpendicular central ray may be performed. An AP axial projection is often recommended to open the joint spaces and reduce foreshortening. Typically using an 8x10 cassette, you can place it underneath the patient's foot. With the patient in the supine or seated position, flex the knees and separate the feet about 6 inches. Then, touch the knees together to improve immobilization of the patient. Center the toes directly over the IR. Direct the central ray perpendicular through the third metatarsal phalangeal joint. When showing the joint spaces is not critical. To open the joint spaces, you may either direct the central ray per 15 degrees posteriorly through the third metatarsal phalangeal joint or place a 15 degree foam wedge underneath the toes. Then direct the central ray perpendicularly. Here is an example of directing the central ray 15 degrees posteriorly through the third MTP joint. And seen here is an example of the 15 degree foam wedge with a perpendicular central ray. The following image is an image where the joint spaces are not of concern. The image shows 14 phalanges of the toes, the distal portions of the metatarsals, while demonstrating evidence of proper collimation and no rotation of the phalanges. Now compare this image to the following image which demonstrates the opening of the IP joint spaces. This image was used to open the joint spaces by using a 15 degree posterior central ray angulation. Once an AP projection is performed, you are ready to move the patient into an AP oblique projection with medial rotation. For this, simply medially rotate the lower leg and foot, adjusting the plantar surface of the foot to form a 30 to 45 degree angle from the plane of the IR. Once again, the central ray is the same, perpendicular and entering at the third metatarsal phalangeal joint. The AP oblique projection will sh show similar structures to the AP projection. However, the distal portion of the metatarsal should be rotated medially as seen here. Lateral projections of the toes are similar to those of the fingers. They can be performed medial lateral or lateral medial depending on the toe of interest. Typically, you want to have the patient lie in the lateral recumbent position of the affected side closest to the IR. Here is an example of the great toe being the toe of interest. And here is an example of the fourth digit, the main toe of interest. Notice that sometimes you have to get creative to get the toe separated from the rest of the toes, so no superimposition is available or present. Regardless of the toe of interest, the central ray should be directed perpendicular to the plane of the IR entering through the IP joint of the toe of interest. Collimation should be one inch on all sides of the toes, including one inch proximal to the metatarsal phalangeal joint. Notice in the following images, there is evidence of proper collimation, the toe of interest without superimposition of adjacent toes, and there is soft tissue and bony trabeculate detail. You are now ready to complete a toe series.